The IDF is doing today what we do every day, defending our borders from terrorists who seek to harm our citizens. Hamas is the terrorist organization that controls Gaza with an iron fist. Today, Hamas sent over 30,000 Palestinians to violently riot along our border, hurling burning tires, throwing Molotov cocktails, and attempting to harm or destroy Israel's security infrastructure. Our soldiers precisely targeted the specific terrorists that attempted to carry out these acts of terror, some of them known terrorists to our security forces. Sadly, Hamas chose to continue their tradition of using innocent civilians as tools of terror. This includes women and children, even a seven-year-old girl who was forced to cross the border into Israel. Thankfully, IDF soldiers identified her and brought her back to her parents in Gaza without harm. The IDF has an obligation to protect the citizens of Israel, which is exactly what we did today. But don't let the Hamas propaganda machine distract you. Hamas's exploitation of their own people endangers innocent civilians and tries to deflect the attention from the misery that they're inflicting on their own people. This riot is another attempt by the brutal dictatorship of the Hamas terror organization to distract the people of Gaza and the world from the real problems that Hamas has caused its own people. The money that was invested by Hamas into this riot should have been invested into improving the lives of the people of Gaza, invested in schools and hospitals, creating jobs and opportunities for the innocent civilians. Today was far from a peaceful protest. It was a violent riot that Hamas tried to mask as peaceful. The IDF will operate to contain the violent rioters. The IDF will continue to act against any violation of Israeli sovereignty and any attempt to hurt its citizens.